As Egyptians for a second day continue their protests outside the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, New York City's Egyptian community is weighing in on the deadly violence. They want people to know the attackers are not representative of all Muslims. Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Sager continues our coverage in Astoria, Queens. Stacey? Well, Sade, plenty of Egyptian Americans on this stretch of Steinway Street, and they watched the American flag torn up in Egypt. They watched those fires burning in Libya, and their only hope now is that the worst of the violence ended today. In this community, often called Little Egypt, residents are well aware of the volatility in Libya and parts of the Mideast. And today, they watch the news and hope the world will understand this is not what Muslims are about. Those people, they're not Muslim, they're not Christian, they're not Jewish, they, I don't know what they are exactly. I can't say one word, they're killers, that's what they are. In Egypt, it was a reaction to an obscure movie degrading the Prophet Muhammad. In Libya, more of a planned attack to kill. But they say either way. This isn't a reflection on Islam. This is actually anti-Islamic. Uh, the Quran tells us to battle evil with good. Still, inside and outside of the mosques today, there was little surprise that a filmmaker who calls Islam, quote, a cancer, wouldn't provoke some violence. Of course, it's an insult. It's, it's definitely crossing the line. I mean, how, how far can you go? Far enough to highlight the unstable political climate in the Arab world and the extremism within the world's largest religion, which many forget is just a part of the spectrum. Those who are condemning and those who are cheering, and in the middle, the silent majority is just uh, looking with disbelief to all what's happening in the Middle East. Now, regarding the filmmaker, Sam Basile, he reportedly remains defiant, but is now in hiding. We should point out we are not showing clips from his film because of the violence it triggered and because so many Muslims find it so offensive. In fact, in Egypt, YouTube has now blocked the video of the movie clip. We're live in the story. I'm Stacey Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.